weird space cow milk slurping bum. <laughs> you know what killed that dude at the end? I'm pretty sure it was bad writing. That's what killed that's what killed that Luke Skywalker or Jake Skywalker as he's more commonly known as. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. In this one, I'm going to teach you exactly how I sketch one of the greatest Jedi of all time, Luke Skywalker. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, settle down, children. We're mixing it up today. Normally, I give you about like five-ish YouTube, no, YouTube tips. This is not that kind of channel. Normally, I give you about five art tips, comic book art tips, concept art tips, even though I don't usually do that, but you know, occasionally I can uh, scrap something together that's halfway decent that resembles concept art. Not today. Today, the change up will be, I'm gonna be talking about what I'm drawing while I'm drawing it. A little play by play, if you will. So get ready. So right in the very, very, very beginning of this video, you may have seen me working on some thumbnails. That's always what I do. I always draw about four or five different thumbnails and I pick and choose between um, what camera angle, what composition, yada, yada, yada. So for this piece, I tinkered with uh, doing a portrait, tinkered with doing a close up shot, doing a half body shot, doing a action pose where he was like, you know, he was fighting the dark troopers and he was mid, you know, lightsaber swing. I tested it all out. None of it really, really worked in the thumbnail. So I chose this one. And the important distinction as to why I chose this one is because I like the silhouette of him. I don't know if you guys remember that episode of The Mandalorian. Uh, spoiler alert, uh, Luke Skywalker was in the final episode of the second season of The Mandalorian. Womp womp, if you missed it. Too bad. I mean, how could you have missed it? Everybody was talking about it for the last few weeks. So I'm a little bit slow to upload this. However, the silhouette when those doors open to the bridge and showcase him in all his epic Jedi majestic glory. That caught my eye. And it caught me in the feelings too, if I'm being frank with you. So I wanted to sketch that. So this is a pretty similar pose to that. However, I didn't do an outright copy of that pose, you know, one for one copy, because there was something when I tried to do that with a hood up and the silhouette, although it looked cool, as far as like my version of this illustration is going, it was lacking something. There was something missing. You couldn't see his face. You really could only see his cloak and his lightsaber. And it is awesome and as moody and as, you know, as far as cinema is concerned, that's great. But it didn't translate. So I didn't do it. I added to it. And what's great about working digitally is as I was working on this drawing with the hood up and the cloak up and I was working on that thumbnail, I realized that it didn't translate. So that's the beauty of digital. Because it wasn't working, I could just kind of scrap it, tweak it, remove the helmet, start drawing his head instead. And as you see throughout this piece, throughout me working on this piece, I'm gonna tinker with a lot of stuff to see what reads, what doesn't read, and fix things accordingly. Now I'll tell you one thing that's pretty awesome. Uh, being that Luke is on an Imperial cruiser or some kind of Imperial vessel and on his bridge, uh, for anybody who likes to color digitally but likes taking shortcuts is, well, the beauty about an Imperial ship is that it's mostly gray. It's gray, it's different shades of gray. So you're able to, uh, well, you're able to cheese dick things, as I like to say. You can take, uh, you can take some shortcuts if you want. You don't have to go crazy with the colors, gang. Really, I only had to worry about the colors of uh, his lightsaber, what he was holding, and his face, his face hair. So as I was working on this pose, right, which is pretty straightforward, just a guy standing there. I thought, man, you know what? Uh, let's let's let the cape drape over his side there. You know, kind of like a like he looks like a, so he'd look like a knight, like an old timey knight with an old timey cape. I thought that would look cool, but it wasn't really doing it for me. Uh, for some as as dope as it looked, I wanted something a little bit more. So you can see, I boom right here. I start tweaking things. So here's another benefit of the digital. All I did was just duplicate and mirror the arm on his other side to make sure that it looked uh, symmetrical. So I start drawing something in his arm. What's that I'm drawing in his arm? What could he be holding? Why would I change the composition? It's motherfucking Baby Yoda, aka La Grogu. I'll be honest with you guys. Baby Yoda was a little bit of a, well, he was a baby bitch to draw because that little motherfucker has a very, very, very specific look to him. And it's kind of hard to see sped up uh, from, this, from this viewpoint, but man, Dude, when you mess up on Baby Yoda's face, like if you leave, if the eyes are a little bit too far apart or a little bit too close together or the mouth isn't where it should be or the ears are too big or... Dude, that little... He looks... Ugh, he looks weird. 
he looks weird and you can't listen you can't you can't f up baby yoda right you can't f that up he's motherfucking dude he's the star of the show he's baby motherfucking yoda <laughs> so i must have drawn him about in the time lapse it goes by quick but no joke i must have drawn his face super small at least five or six times quick reminder if you like what you're seeing please like and subscribe that is all back to your regular schedule program you know, I want to take a moment to, well, I'm going to simp. I'm going to simp for Dave Filoni and John Favreau for a little bit, man, because goddamn, that final episode of season two, the huge surprise that was Mark Hamill reprising his role of one of the greatest heroes of all time, Luke Skywalker, as we remember him, the hero that we remember, the true optimist Jedi master that is Luke Skywalker, man, seeing him. I know not technically on the big screen, but seeing him in Mando, I was beside myself with emotion. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't bawling like some other YouTubers you might see. Man, if, man, if it didn't feel like uh, somebody was cutting onions in the room, if you know what I'm saying. It was just excellent seeing him as I remember him and not, you know, the milk sucking uh, loser douchebag that they decided to turn him into in the sequel trilogy. Now, I, yeah, I got to talk about how the CGI looked a little weird. Don't get me wrong. At the, in the moment, in the moment, seeing Luke show up out of nowhere, I had no idea this dude was going to show up even after the green lightsaber, even after his one single Michael Jackson liked one gloved hand. I still had my doubts. I had such distrust of Disney. I still thought that they were fucking with us that at some point, they were going to tell us that this wasn't Luke, this was somebody else. So I was so taken by surprise. The weird CGI that was his face, it didn't even register. When you pair that with the tearful goodbye of um, Grogu and Din Djarin, it was all so damn overwhelming. I, I, I missed it. Upon like second and third viewing, I noticed that there was some Uncanny Valley stuff going on. He looked a little bit like a weird um, video game character. But you know, when all is said and done, I'm incredibly glad we got our old Luke back and we didn't get that fucking weird space cow milk slurping bum. <laughs> you know what killed that dude at the end? I'm pretty sure it was bad writing. That's what killed that's what killed that Luke Skywalker or Jake Skywalker, as he's more commonly known as. Hey, look at you. Look, you made it. You made it. You're looking at me. I'm a big dumb face. Thanking you, especially to my patrons. I'm going to put your names up here somewhere because uh, you guys and my Twitch subscribers, you guys really are helping make this uh, tumultuous time that much more easier, especially those who you've been liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. You guys are fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, you know, if you guys have any um, suggestions on what I should be sketching next, please, uh, please drop a comment down below. Um, I, well, I read every one of them. Uh, so thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, yeah, links in the description if you want to like hang out on my Discord. I also stream live on Twitch. All that good stuff. Come hang out.